What's going on cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here guys and I hope everybody's doing well. Today we're going to take a look at the single board computers and briefly discuss the available single board to computers on the market. And this is ultimately going to be a series of videos which will take a look at the different uh, single board computers I have up here which is the Orange Pi 5, the Orange Zero 3, and the Orange Pi 5 Plus. Um, now, to discuss the other available ones like the Banana Pi, their processors are especially for, we're mainly focused on mining, uh, especially Verus as my main focus, and that mainly only uses the CPU power. It does not use any of the RAM or any of the other features. I am unaware of any other uh, coin that you could mine on this like Monero or anything else that is going to use the RAM. Uh, they're all going to be CPU focused, but those things may change. So I am also focused on the smallest amount of RAM uh, to keep price down. So as an example, they're all four gigs or one gig for the small one. It does not matter how much RAM you have, uh, mining-wise, um, but you have to think about also the other boards that are available on the market. So Raspberry Pi is out for, for mining Verus. They do not pay for the instruction set. You can mine Monero with it, but eh, you know it's not very profitable at all. <laughs> it's, I think there's a few other smaller coins that you can mine as well. Uh, or Banana Pies, they have a cheaper chip on them there are 22 nanometers as an example the latest technology chips the orange pi is using and rock pi is using are seven nanometers uh the rock pi 5 is also out that's uh probably been out for about four or five months now at this point that has the same chip as the orange pi 5 plus um the orange pi 5 has a cheaper version uh, which we'll cover here in just a minute but the rock pi 5 um, i'm expecting to get similar results uh, to this one as an example the pre predecessor rock pi 4 uh, got about i want to say it was about six mega hash at 15 watts maybe it was five mega hash at 15 watts um so, you know, it was decent, but compared to the cell phones where you're getting five mega hash at six watts or so, it's, you know, much more efficient uh, versus those chips. And it has to do with the nanometers of the, or the, you know, the latest version of the chips that are in these devices uh, that we're utilizing. But uh, so far, I'm very, very impressed with the Orange Pi 5 and i'm excited to test out the other two that we have up here so you guys make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss those videos i'll put them out uh, right after you know pretty shortly right after this video as soon as i get the editing done and uh we'll know which pie is going to win the pie competition um so uh let's go ahead and focus in on the orange pie five and mainly the processor and what makes it different than the orange uh, pi 5 plus and uh briefly or quick high level what they've done is it has the same amount of cores it uh, has the same amount of mega hash uh, capable but they've reduced the hdmi lanes out as you can tell this one uh, can't really see it uh, over here. It's on the other side. Uh, has a mini display or HDMI out. Uh, this one is capable of having three out. Uh, and that's just because the chip has a higher uh, or has more lanes for it. They reduced the um, bus lines, the amount of uh, bandwidth that this smaller chip can handle uh, versus this one. But it's mainly for I.O. purposes. It has nothing to do with its processing power, I think. But that's what this test is going to uh, tell us. But um, for on paper, I, they should be the same. But don't know for sure until we actually try it. Uh, so yeah, we'll see if we're uh, you know sp uh, surprised or not uh, when we get to that video. Now this guy's mystery. I think it's a 14 nanometer chip on there. Uh, it is the same chip that is on the Pi 2 though, and I have not tested that one. And that's more of like a 
much smaller computer. This is a single board computer, um, the Pi 3.0. But this video is focusing on the Pi 5. Now, the Pi 5 um, is pretty cool, especially with this ice cooler, but they're pretty expensive with the ice cooler. The cost of the Pi 5 is about $80 on Amazon. The ice cooler is about $18 on Amazon. Um, I'm hoping to find more efficient ways of attempting to cool this guy. As you can see behind you, I've uh, built a few towers. I'm trying some different uh, heat sinks. I am trying different thermal pays, thermal glue. So you guys make sure to stay tuned for all of these videos. Um, we're testing wires, uh, not only the heat sinks, the wires that we're plugging into them. We're also testing different chargers. Uh, that are available that we can use so there's a lot to these little guys and even the cell phones because all of this is going to apply to the cell phones especially the wires and especially not the heat sinks as much um but your chargers too because different chargers are going to be have different efficiency ratings uh and that's something that you're going to want to pay attention to and never go over 80 percent load so let's go and take a look at the hash rate uh, this guy is producing and the temperature all right orange pie 5 is producing yeah 7.6 average but uh, it's not, it hasn't been on for too long probably about an hour so i in my other tests uh, it gets between 6.8 to 7.3 so i would say the average is closer to seven unless i got the silicon lottery in this one wow i mean i'll pay attention to this and i'll update you guys on this in the comments later but uh it's pretty impressive uh the ice cooler keeps it at about 65 c so not bad not great so we'll have to see how that compares up to something like my Jimmy Rig one over here, although this is really not a comparison. Um, but we'll have to definitely compare it to this Jimmy Rig setup with a copper heat sink and uh, kind of a fan just on top of it. I mean, you could do this for $6 versus $18, especially if you're trying to scale it. But this just looks so cool, that ice cooler. And then these guys, uh, yeah, not sure yet. That's uh, coming out in the next video. And the device on top, yeah, the mystery device. Stay tuned, guys. Got lots of fun stuff coming up. All right, now the question is, is hot, what wattage is it pulling? 9.1, 9.2. Now pay attention to the cable I'm using. Cables do matter, guys. Make sure to check out the cable video. It really does matter. Okay, not bad, not bad. We're getting 7 mega hash right at 9.2 watts. Now, just for comparison, though, and explanation, this is running only one Pi. Remember... Your brick over here has LED lights. It has its own power consumption, just like the Sapirinth version back there. So with that said, you will get different consumptions, especially when we're walk talking about tenths of power uh, between the different ones and the amount of pies you plug in and the amount that the base power load that the device uses is balanced out as an example these four have been plugged into the sabrinth uh, before and those average 8.5 watts a piece using the uh, higher end cables which again you're going to want to watch the video and learn more but ooh, just dropped to eight something but uh, uh, it, it's going to matter on the devices here and uh, this because Especially if we want to scale it and put it into a server case and something like that. We could put 50 of these, 100 of these in a case like that. So if we're able to save 0.2 watts, that's 20 watts out of 100. If you are able to save 0.5 watts, that's 50 watts out of 100. So when a device only is going to consume 
2.5 watts, uh, you know, 50 watts is a substantial amount uh, in savings. So these are things that you really want to consider and think about as you are attempting to build out your farm. All right, guys, I am going to uh, close up this video at this point, and we're going to say eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and pick one of these guys and plug it in. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, I test that and see what kind of results we get. I have no idea on those. I'm very excited to see. So thanks, guys. Stay tuned. Talk to you later on.